Hi, I'm Greg Perkins with Oak Ridge Bellows. Today we're talking about installation of metal expansion joints. When you get a metal expansion joint from us, one of the first things you're going to notice is it's got these yellow shipping bars on them. And what these are for is they hold the expansion joint in place. It allows you to be able to install these things without the expansion joint flexing in, in any direction. It'll be marked remove after installation. And what you, what you need to know about that is exactly that. Wait until after the installation to remove these shipping bars. Because we want this, this to be fixed. You're going to slip this in. You're going to drop your bolts in. Everything's going to fit up nice. And then after you cinch everything down, then you can remove these shipping bars. I know you're saying, well, wait a second. Um, I'm going to slip this into a gap. And I may have a little bit of a gap here. And I'm going to need to break those shipping bars. Well, actually, that's right. And if as long as you promise to drop these bolts in and have all that done and have those hand tight in, then you can go ahead and knock and cut these things out and finish those last turns. And that, that's okay. We understand that. You want to be able to uh, cut these things without damaging the bellows. And this is one of the more important things about installation. You always got to keep in mind that bellows is easy to damage or, or at least easier than a piece of pipe to damage. So any type of a hammer or a wrench that slips down on there and, and knocks it in in there, then you're going to have to go watch one of our, our videos on what you, what you do about dents. But you, you really should wrap this bellows in something when you're working around it. You can also hand tighten on the inside and do a lot of your pneumatic uh, torquing down to those bolts down on the outside. The other thing to remember when you're installing especially a flanged unit is if you have misalignment on your mating flange, don't try to take this flange and torque it over because torque will damage your bellows. I know on this expansion joint some of you more shrewder observers are saying, hey, this is a Vanstone bellows. You can twist that flange around because it's loose. Well, that's true. Let, I'm talking about fixed flanges in that case. You also notice on this particular joint, and you may have on some expansion joints in the field, there might be sometimes where there's a type of rod here, whether it's a tie rod or a limit rod or a control rod. If it has the word rod in it, you really shouldn't be adjusting that out in, in the field. It'll be either double nutted or it'll be tack welded or it'll be cotter pinned. And that means, hey, it's set where it's supposed to be set. If there is some really good reason why you feel like you need to really uh, adjust these rods, then you should call us, call the factory, and say, hey, this is a drawing I've got, this is what I want to do. And then if, we, if uh, that's okay to do for this particular style of expansion joint, then, then you're good. You're good to go on that. So don't be touching these. Remove these after installation, but before the hydro test and pneumatic test, and protect your bellows. That's what you need to know about installing metal expansion joints. If you want to know more, you can join us at oakridgebellows.com.